Hey guys, good morning. Today is cycle day 19 for me. It's time for me to get started with the estrogen priming part of my IVF schedule. So today I start with the estrogen patch. Um, it's about six in the morning. I just woke up, so that's why I sound all sleepy and why I have the scarf on and everything. Anyway, the directions say start at notch, notched corner, tear pouch open, remove patch from pouch, hold patch with protective liner facing you, peel off one side of protective liner and discard. Apply sticky side of patch to clean and dry area of the abdomen. Carefully remove the other piece of protective liner and discard. Press firmly, press patch firmly in place. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna open it. And oh, okay, it's it's really small. Hopefully I'm doing this the right way. I think so. Okay. I'm just going to put it right here. So it's like kind of where the nurse advised me to put it. And I think that's it. So the nurse said to just leave it on for to switch it every other day. So this will stay on. Today is a Wednesday. It'll stay on until Friday. If it starts to peel off before Friday, she said I'm supposed to replace it, but still change that one and put a new one on Friday. So even if I have to switch, I'm still putting on a new one every other day. So. That's it. Tomorrow I do the Cetratide, I think, shots. So that'll be the next part of the video. Keep hey guys, watching. it is cycle day 20. Yeah, I think cycle day 20 for me. It is about 6.30 in the morning. I am getting dressed for work. But before I go, it's time for me to do my first injection of Cetratide. I think this is also called um, Garanelix or something like that. Um, so I have everything I'm in my bedroom um, because it's easy to keep the cats out of here. Um, and I just put everything on a plate. It's nice and clean. And so I'm going to get started. I have put a little ice pack on my stomach in the area when I want to do the injection. So hopefully it'll be a little bit numb. Um, but I'm going to speak positively that this isn't going to hurt much. So sorry, let me mute the TV in the background. Sorry about that. So these are the instructions. I'm going to read them. I was surprised when I opened this box last night to see what it looked like to find that this actually needs to be mixed. Like there's a powder and then a syringe. So that makes me a little nervous, but um, plenty of people do this. So I'm assuming I can too. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. I already did that. <clears throat> On a clean, flat surface, lay out everything you need. We've done that. I showed you guys where I put it on the plate. Um, this is flip the plastic cover. This is flip flipping off the plastic cover of the vial. Wipe the aluminum ring and rubber stopper with the alcohol wipe. They also provided two alcohol wipes in there. I'm going to try to do this fast. 
because one, I need to get to work. <laughs> I'm already running late as usual. And two, I don't want the video to cut off. So I'm wiping off the plastic stopper and the silver tab. Then it says, um, take the injection needle with the yellow mark. Okay, that's the one with the yellow mark. And... Take the pre-filled syringe, remove the cover, twisting the needle on the syringe, okay. So, let me need two hands for that. All right, twisting. Come on, twist off. I hope I'm doing it the right way. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe I wasn't. Oh, I wasn't. I was twisting the wrong part. Okay. Um, tch, 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 tch. Twist the needle on the syringe. Remove the cover needle. Push the needle through the center of the rubber stopper. I am so confused. Push the needle. Sorry guys, the video cut off. I think I'm supposed to push this needle through the rubber stopper. Wait, I'm so confused. <laughs> the rubber part. Yes, that part through the... Oh, I'm supposed to take the rubber stopper off and then push the needle through there. Alright, I'm already getting confused. Okay, Let me pause while I was supposed to put out. this yellow syringe twisted on to the needle and then push this through the rubber stopper like that. And then it says... Okay, now it says, draw the contents of the vial into, oh, sorry, push the needle through the center of the rubber stopper of the vial and then inject the water. Sorry, I lost my place. Inject the water into the valve by slowly pushing down on the plunger of the syringe. Okay. Um, leave the syringe in the valve. Gently shake the valve until the solution is clear without residue. I'm shaking it up. Still has like residue. Some got on the needle. I'm trying to shake, 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 shake. <laughs> um, then Alright, I'm trying to get it all off the the needle guys. <laughs> Alright, now I think I did. Then it says, draw the total contents of the vial into the syringe. If liquid is left in the vial, um, I guess just keep trying to get it. I'm going to put it, oh, maybe I can do it. Okay, so now I'm supposed to take off the yellow needle, which now I know twists, and put on the gray needle. This. Take the cap off, and then it says invert the syringe and push the plunger until all air bubbles have been pushed out. Um, push, 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 push. 
Okay. Alright. Choose injection site in the lower abdomen area. Preferably around, around, but at least one inch away from the belly button. Choose a different site each day um, to minimize irritation. Take the second alcohol wipe. Wipe and clean the skin at the injection site. So I'm going to take my little ice pack off and then wipe the area. And then um, it says to let it dry. And then inject the prescribed dose directed by your doctor. So this is the, let me see if I can stand for you guys to see. All right. Oh boy, this is the hard part. Needles in and injecting. And now pulling the needle out. And that's it. All done. And now I'm supposed to obviously put all the sharp part in the sharps container. I will do that. And that's it guys my first oh, set your side injection I did it that means you guys could too if anyone ever has to inject medications and so that's gonna be the end of the video I have to do the set your side two more days and I have to alternate taking off the patch every other day so I'll swap out the patch tomorrow tomorrow set your side the day after that the last set your side following day switch out the patch and I keep doing that until I get my period and then it's on with the big stuff